Wilson! What do you mean I look different? What? Oh! <gasps> well, this is strange. <laughs> hey, Wilson. I found something. A book. There's magic in these lands. There is. We can do some crazy things. We can. I've built us a little secret basement. What do you think? We can perform magic. And we're going to try and start with this Botania stuff. Ah, yes, a few things to do. And then we can hopefully do some magical stuff with the land around us. Oh! I managed to catch these guys too. They look like wizards. And they sell stuff. He's a cleric. Oh, hello. Hmm. More people, more people to talk to. We need to give them names. What's your names? What, 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 sh why is he sleeping? Batania. And I've read through the first set of chapters. Mm, there's a big book. And we need to build some of these things and get some petals and get going. Not complicated though, by the looks of it. Give me five minutes. Let me get some stuff built. And then we'll have a go with it. So I've built this, well built, I've made this floral fertilizer stuff and apparently this gives us these magical flowers. Apparently. Oh look, here come the mobs. And they're dead. Well, I'm gonna try it out on this stuff. Apparently we're gonna get some magical flowers. Try it. Mystical black flower. If I break that, break that, it should go in this flower pouch. So I've got one of each of them, and this is all the different types of flowers. So we want to try and get lots of each. And this is what I'm going to do for a while because we want to get all the flowers and the tall ones. Tall ones, little ones. I want to get lots of each. Look at all the pretty flowers. Ah! And we've got pretty much more than one of each. Really good. It means we can crack on with the next step in this whole Botania thing. The Petal Apocryphary. The, pe the Petal Apocryphary. Yeah. Have you ever seen a stranger thing? A rabbit wearing a hat and a monocule? Hmm. Sounds like a story. I'm late. I'm late. I'm very, very late. Okay, sorry. Uh, yes, distracted. Um, back to magic. Ah, Wilson. We have flowers. Now we have to use them to turn them into petals to then make the petal apoth petal ap the petal apothecary. That's our first step. So let's uh, let's grab out some flowers. What have we got a lot of? We got a lot of them. And I believe we put them in here. That makes yellow. Do we what sits? Yellow petals. I can put them back. And then we get some cobble. What am I going to use? I'm not going to use a petal. Now we have a petal of pocket for the three. Hmm. Yes. This is what we need to make things. I'll figure out where to put some of this stuff though. Um, we make a room. How about a room this way? Yes, I like that idea. Well, Wilson, the room is done. And my flowers are all organized in here and I've even brought in other Botania stuff. And I've brought in some seeds because we need seeds. I've made the uh, petal apocryphary. I've just put some steps around it so I can get up to it. And I've already tried and made a pure daisy. And we're going to make another one, right? All you have to do, quite simple, is bucket of water in there. And then you drop your four petals in there. And you chuck some seeds in. And you get a pure daisy. Simple. What are these used for? These are used for making that core ingredient the living rock and the living wood log right 
So you put one of these guys down. Um, yep, put you down there, and then we get some stone. Is it stone? Stone. Bit of luck. I think we've got some stone. Uh, yeah, we've got 2.3 million stone. <clears throat> you put some stone around it. It will start to turn it into living wood stone, living stone. And the other pure daisy, we put some oak logs around it. And I think we've got a few oak logs. Uh, yeah, we've got 290,000 oak logs. And we can put this around it. And it starts to turn it into living wood logs. It's happening. Look at this, look. Living rock. Oops, sorry, pure daisy. Right. Oh, and the, and the wood's going. Look at this. Living wood logs. Perfect. Right. I'm going to automate this. The first thing I do is I'm going to automate it. Automation, step one, pretty much done. Uh -huh. We are using destructors and constructors underneath. Right? And I've got two networks in here now. So I'm setting up a magic network. So I've got a network controller, some disk drives and storage crafting grid, all of that sort of stuff here, powered through a new uh, magic network. Okay, But I've got the old network here, right? With all of my main stuff in it. With an interface piping down, right? Keep it up, good. So let's go this route first. This pipe goes all the way under here, and if I shrink myself down, we go underground. Whoop! You can see that pipe coming from the main storage system, and it's going into all of these constructors. Okay, and the constructors. This side is uh, putting a wood oak log. And on this side, it's putting, oops, stone. Got it yet? Keep it up, good. Then we've got some funky redstone. This line is for the living wood. And this is for the living stone, okay? And we can turn all of these torches off and on, depending on how much we've got of the living wood and the living rock, right? So these are detectors and it's reading the new network. So on this side is the new network. The detector, this detector is saying, De send out a redstone signal, emit a signal when under the amount. So at the moment I've put it to 16. And this is for the stone under 16, okay? If I go up here, whoop, right, and I plop in, one of each, which I've got in my inventory. So these are now both at 16. We should see those two redstone lights are off and this is now on with a redstone signal. That's why these will now not do anything. Only work without a redstone signal. They're now getting a redstone signal, so they're not gonna work, right? Got it? So if I was to uh, chop all of this up myself, you can see that all of these constructors are now oops sorry flower all of these constructors are now not on right Back. if i was to take one of them out they come on and they dump in some stone but the living wood doesn't because it's still at 16 if i take one of them out they all come on and stick in some wood <laughs> So now all we need to do is set these destructors up to filter and only this side is only going to take living rock. We don't want it to take the stone. And this side we're going to set up to do the living log. Two secs, let me do that. And now that's done. If I connect it to the network, you should see all of these get removed. Ooh. Uh, yes. 
Oh. <laughs> Let me just quickly set them to whitelist. Uh, take two. And now if we connect it to the network, you should see all of these get removed. But nothing's going to get replaced because we're over, 50, over 16. Oof. And they've all turned off. And we've got 22 in. Uh-huh. So now all we need to do is change this to say I want um, 2,000. And I want 2,000. And now this will just do its thing. So when they change, the destructors will remove it. See that? Ah! We are automated living, living wood and living stone. Fabulous. Now, the next bit. We've got to make the wand of the forest. This is what we need to be able to see what's going on with the various other parts of this mod. And we can use it to do things. Wand of the forest, according to the book, is living wood twigs and a couple of petals. I want a green petal on the bottom and a yellow petal on the top. Ah. Aha. Right. Next. We're into mana. We've got to generate some mana. Because everything else really is going to need some mana so to do that you can use these flowers and there's lots of them but they're mostly locked there's the hydro angies which uses source water but that kind of runs out or there's the endo flame that uses combustible material and if we look in our uh, main storage system and look at coal we have 32,000 blocks of coal and it's growing so I reckon we should use the endo flame and coal blocks and make some mana. So we've got to make the endo flame, we've got to make a mana pool and a mana spreader. Get all of that done and then we chuck some coal on the floor and it makes mana. Right? Gonna do that now. We're getting there. So we can see mana pool and mana spreader bound. If you've got this wand of the forest in your hand you can see where these things are. So that's bound to that which is good. Four endo flames, and you see in my right hand side there that's got highlighted it's bound that's bound that's bound that's bound bound so by right if we chuck a load of coal blocks on the floor I believe this is what you do they're being sucked up Oh, more than that. Oh, it's my magnets on, isn't it? Right. And we now have mana. <laughs> we are progressing. And if I have this in my hand, it shows me how much is in that mana pool. And it only used four coal blocks. Generating mana. Marvellous. I leave them on the floor. Keep consuming them. Mm, now we have mana. We can do more things. We're on to the next bit. We've got runic altars. I would realised I probably haven't told you why we're doing all of this crazy stuff. Well, I want to make the rod of terra firma. Yeah. And I want to make the horn of the wild uh this guy i need to get pasture seeds and to do pasture seeds when you put grass in a mana pool we can do that when we get more mana horn of the wild done <clears throat> this thing is rather good fun are you ready <laughs> look it gets rid of all of the stuff on the floor this means we can clear out Large areas of grass and things and things. <laughs> right, anyway, that's Horn of the Wild. Now we need to get on with the, ro the Rod of Terra Firma. And the other thing I've done is I got rid of the second network. Um, it didn't make sense. I didn't quite realize how many recipes required 
other items. So a lot of the Britannia recipes need normal items as well. So this way I can just do it all in one. Ah, yes, right. Runes. My understanding of runes is rune dimentium. <coughs> Excuse me. And we have four basic earthbound runes, air, fire, earth, and water. And then they're used in other, with other things to make other runes like summer, spring, autumn, and winter. And for the rod of terra firma, we need the seasonal runes. So to make winter, we need water and earth, a couple of snow blocks, wool, and a cake. Right, getting it? And to make the other ones, they all have similar setup, but this is like three saplings and some wheat and a couple of the runes. Right, so I, to craft a rune, they all need a type of mana powder and mana steel ingots. Mana steel is iron ingot in the mana pool, and mana dust is some sort of dust in the mana pool. I think you can use dye as well, actually. But we've got lots of dusts, about over a million of redstone, so we could use that. Right, so similarly for fire. Mana steel and mana powder, so they all need that. So we're going to need four mana steel ingots and four dust. Then the other recipes. Then we can crack on. So let me just get those things. Do them onto here. One, two, three, four. Oh, no, I didn't want all of them on. Um, hmm. Oh, uh, we can right click as well. And now it's getting mana. And when it's got enough mana, and how we tell. Oh, it's near, look, they're on the right, look, a little clock going round. We drop that on it, and we right click with that. Ah! Woohoo! So let's do the same for the other runes. Right click the items on, wait for the mana to build up, drop some living rock on, right click with the thing. Got it? Right. We got them so we should be able to make now oops rod of terra firm oh 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 uh, rod of the lands make you okay um but it looks like we need terra steel and terra steel you have to get from craft crafting on this bad boy so we are into this ta plate so let's get this set up looks like we might need some more room in here hmm i think we're ready to make terra steel look put the structure over here okay this is what you need to make this took quite a lot of these uh, mana steel ingot, mana steel ingots. I've put a spark over here, so you can see uh, that if I put it in, you'll be able to see that this spark is connected to that spark. So it's going to draw the mana out of this pool. There's one thing slowing us down though, and that is we need a lot of mana to make terra steel, and we don't quite have enough here. So at some point, I'm going to make a great big setup for our mana production but not today i want to get this rod sorted according to the book the infusion uses about half a mana pool's worth of mana to create a single piece of terra steel and we now have not quite half a pool come on thingy my bobs i think it's almost there right let's try it right so we want uh get the recipe again one of each of those onto this thing and it should then use the spark to transfer the mana okay let's go uh do you right click them on right click them on Ooh! look the mana's going we can see our little flowers probably gone red draining the mana <laughs> We have terra steel. That means we should be able to craft the rod of terra firma. I'm just filling up my mana tablet. Right, we've got mana tablet full. And now this thing 
is cool. Because I believe I can remove a mountain. <clears throat> I mean, it uses a lot of mana to do it, but uh, I, I'm removing a mountain. <laughs> oh dear. Um, and why would I want to remove a mountain? I hear you ask. Well, I want to uh, expand the village, right? We've we've filled up pretty much. I want to remove this side of the mountain so we can get some water access. And this mountain's quite big. Uh, let's be honest, right? So I want to try to remove all of this, and then we can open up the the village. That means amping up our mana production massively and um, getting into the mana armor and the mana mana and the mana and a bit more mana. But you know what? Uh, that could wait till next time, I think, because um, we've done an awful lot in this one. So I'm going to crash and then we'll get really into amping up our mana production so we can remove the mountain. <laughs> right. See you soon.